Hello everyone! Uh, tonight I am playing Lego Batman the video game. We'll do the story mode. Now, this game is not specifically based off anything. Uh, but I think there are some similarities to like the first three or four movies. Um, like I know like uh, <clears throat> I think uh, Catwoman and Penguin team up. I think Two-Face and Riddler team up. Uh, so it's got some inspiration from the movies. It does have the Danny Elfman <clears throat> soundtrack, but I turned the music off because I forgot to do that for the Indiana Jones stream and it got copyright claimed. Uh, yeah, so we'll be playing that tonight. Uh, looking at the chat here, someone asked, did I film the Batman Returns review? I actually filmed it at the same time as the first review. So we will have the Batmobile in it again. Uh, and actually breaking news, um, I haven't had time to edit it this week cause I, I've been shooting a lot. I've been filming a lot of like bonus Patreon stuff, uh, like Thursday videos and the actual show. I'm um, going away for a week in June. <clears throat> I'm doing this thing known as a, let me know if I'm pronouncing this right. A uh, uh, vacation, a uh, vac vacation. I think it's vacation. I've heard about them. They've been suggested to me in the past, but in the past I could not afford to take one. So I'm gonna try this vacation. Uh, and I just wanted to be ahead of everything. So I've been filming a lot. I am uh gonna be editing all weekend to get the Batman. Returns episode out. Uh, Editor Jess. I gave her an episode and a few Patreon things to edit. So I'm going to pay her to edit some of that. Uh, but if you join Patreon. One, we have the Nightmare on Elm Street 2 commentary track. Because you guys were upset that I did not review Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Even though I did as a solo review. But you guys wanted a long-form thing, so I decided to do a commentary track. Uh, tonight on Patreon, I'll be uploading the first 30 minutes, the rough edit, first 30 minutes of Batman Returns. Uh, so check that out, and then the rest of the weekend, I'll be fine-tuning that so it comes out Monday. And then, yeah, Jess is going to be editing the episode after that while I'm editing the episode like two weeks from now so i can actually enjoy this vacation that people uh talk about okay we ready for some lego batman Ugh. Ugh, thanks tony who's your fill-in host i'm gonna pretend like you didn't say that that is a uh, that is a Seinfeld quote. How about a guest host? I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Tony, was one of these mentioned in your Batman Returns review how Billy D. Williams was? Yes, 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 yes. Um, speaking of Batman Returns, one of my Batman tattoos is the logo of Shrek's department store. Might have mentioned that before. You want the logo of a woman I or a misogynist? murdering capitalist uh corrupt businessman you want that logo <sighs> very upset with you here to that law very very upset I so say that was joker's returned power crazed penguin and this is riddler's revenge so i'm guessing we're gonna go in order here I'm just going to do the story modes. So, like, this looks like the Tim Burton uh, one. This is when they were still doing the miming thing. They didn't really have dialogue. <laughs> Jess is back in the closet. I couldn't even... I went there today. I couldn't even get to the closet. Space Cat is actually in the next two episodes. We had her on the counter 
I don't think that's going to be a regular thing. There's going to be a bonus Patreon clip of her attacking... Um, her attacking Crystal. I turned the music off and it still plays the music in the cutscenes. Ah! And it's all the Danny Elfman theme from the first film. Yes, I know Kieran is doing a 24-hour stream. I was invited to it, and I was actually in his area today. But I decided not to do it, because I hate Kieran. And we're enemies! No, I'm kidding. I was just busy with the editing. I'm actually doing this so I can raid his stream afterwards. So, stay tuned. I'm going to be sending you all guys all the way back to Kieran. All right, so we got to get the Mad Hatter? It has been years since I played this. I played all the Lego Batmans. Uh, and recently, I started playing um, the DC Villains. I don't know. The Lego games are good. Just, like, turn off your brain games. A rocket. Okay, so we are investigating Joker. Joker's men are about. The Batman doesn't like that. Let's go! Whew. Oh, yeah. Robin's gonna nuke the city, apparently. It's pretty dark. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, this came out around the same time as uh, Arkham Asylum, I believe. I kind of want to play the Arkham games with uh, Prism Mike. I said around the same time. It's a year off. It's a year off. I think they, uh... I think they both had commercials on the Dark Knight DVD. I heard there's a, a Superman cameo, and then I've heard two different Supermans were named. Uh, I guess don't tell me. I know that there is a Superman in it. Cleaning up that waste. For the hero of the people.
But Tom Welling came back for the DCCW crossover, and it turns out he gave up his Superman powers to be a dad. slime because then I think the slime goes into that machine if I'm not mistaken. Not going there? I thought I went in there. All right, I guess I was wrong. Lining suit. Fly. I didn't fly far enough. Oh, wait, no. I gotta do that. Cool. Yeah. Robin. What the hell is he doing down here? Really? I miss that there's so many CW shows. Well, the Arrowverse is dead now. You have time to catch up now. Technically, Superman and Lois is in its uh, self-contained universe. But there's time now. Nah, I'm probably not getting any of the figures for that. Bang, 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 bang. Ah, uh, Batman. Did you 
see the Gotham Knights TV show? Nah, I'm. I can't get it. I can't get invested. I'm gonna finish Titans. Maybe watch some of the Doom Patrol I missed. At some point, I want to finish Swamp Thing. But with CWIs, honestly, after the one producer got me tooed and fired, like I, I guess that producer was like the missing ingredient. Because all the shows kind of started sucking after that. Which sucks. I mean, if he, like, deserved to be fired, he deserved to be fired. But, yeah, there definitely was a drop in quality after he left. No, I'm playing on uh, the 360. No, still ongoing. Wait, what? Joe Harrison Ford was an old lady. Old indie already. Yeah, I knew about the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Apparently, they're putting that on uh, Disney Plus finally. No, the uh, writer's strike is still going on. And apparently now there's going to be an acting strike. Tony, did you thought about making a video like what went wrong with the Arrowverse at one point? Actually, me and Frank probably could do that. Uh, there's Smallville podcast with Tom Welling appearing every so often. Oh, uh, okay. That needed to open up first. Okay. Oh. Fun. All that for that. Well, you'll find out. And it was your favorite for years? Yeah, I wonder if the new show will have anything from the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Because, uh, again, I never even really watched that show. But I remember a friend telling me that Crystal Skull actually referenced a lot of it. I'm actually excited to check out that show if it finally is being uploaded. Mm. Yeah, I've looked at some uh, ins inside you uh, clips. 
Michael Rosenbaum, me. I got to make fun of him on Twitter. He was pretending that he didn't care that people could buy blue check marks, but he de he obviously cared. Like, he was obviously annoyed about it, but he did this weird tweet that made it seem like he didn't care about it. So I tweeted him, and I was just like, hey, man, for some reason my old account never got uh, verified, but I have a podcast, and I was also in a DC thing. So me and you are basically the same person now. <laughs> and then when he lost his blue check mark, because God forbid they pay for it, I was like, hey, guys, I'm no longer twinning with Michael Rosenbaum. <laughs> Where the hell is that coming from? I don't know. They've been filming that thing for a while. Look how long it took for us to get Top Gun Maverick. Bang, 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 bang. Oh no! Really, is that just not work? Something with Robin? 
Maybe. No, Robin can't go into that. I can't. Oh, God. How am I screwing up on a game meant for children? No! Am I crazy? Oh, well, there's the edge of the game. on that thing. Step on this thing. It won't let me move that that controller right there. Like, I know I have to do this thing, right? But it's just not letting me grab it. So did I miss something? Yes, uh, this summer I will be at uh, Too Many Games. We have a panel uh, Saturday Saturday night. And uh, I think we have a signing on Sunday. Shit. Um, then we will be at VHS Fest. Uh, which should be a lot of fun. That is in July, I want to say 6th and 7th. And then September 16th and 17th, I'll be at uh, PA Horror Con in uh, Langhorn, Pennsylvania. Did I miss something? I feel like... I know I have to go down. I know I need, like, a suit to do that shit. <sighs> um, the caterpillar was not in Black Adam, from what I remember, but that is uh, Mr. Mind. That is like a major Shazam villain uh, who had a big part in like my favorite DC thing of all time, uh, 52. So I was excited to see him. I was excited for him to come back. And it's a shame you won't see how that plays out. Kind of bummed about it. Okay, did I miss something over here? I might have missed something over here. Oh! 
There we go. There we go. Wait, what post credit sequence? Was it the post credit sequence Superman? What the hell was the Black Adam post credit sequence? Oh no! There's another? What happens in that one? No, that was Shazam 2. Is when he returns back to the prison cell. That's not Black Adam. Black Adam was Superman. Yeah, it was Shazam 2. <laughs> Other than the wizard... And the word Shazam and some of the powers fucking... <laughs> From the Rock didn't care about any of that shit from that movie. God, Black Adam was terrible. It's a shame. Shazam 2. I really enjoyed Shazam 2. I was afraid you were going to make me watch Black Adam again. Oh, guys, this coming Thursday, I might try to do a, um, <laughs> a, uh, live episode reviewing The Machine, the Burt Kreischer movie, based off that stupid, obviously fake story he tells in his stand-up. Um, and I want to do it with Carl from Who Are These Podcasts, but he doesn't want to go to the theater for it, so I gotta figure out... How to find a copy of this movie for him. Ooh. Because The Rock was weird. The Rock wanted to be Black Adam. But he wanted nothing to do with, uh... What should we call it? Um, Shazam and whatnot. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen, too. He'll just... Which I've been saying for years, just use the Flash to reboot. 
uh, and keep some of the stuff you like. Because not all of it's bad. Gail, Gail Gadot, it's fine. Jason Momoa is fine. Henry Cavill was even fine. I just would have preferred, you know, like... I don't know, just... Him not being in a terrible movie. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Yeah, Blue Beetle looks looks fun. My favorite Blue Beetle is the second one, the one who doesn't have powers. It looks like they find his command center and his suits. Um, so it looks like he exists in that universe, but he's probably dead. Well, the first one definitely has to be dead because the scarab needs to be passed on. But my favorite thing about Ted Cord was he didn't have like the scarab didn't choose him. So he continued the blue beetle legacy, but he used gadgets and stuff since he wasn't able to use the power. Yeah, there's all those rumors now that, like, the, uh, the second Aquaman movie is apparently really bad. Which I wonder if it's going to be, like, Wonder Woman 84, where the first one was really good, and then the second one's just a huge disappointment. Ooh! Bang, 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 bang. Ah. And like I said, these movies are becoming less priorities for me. He said they're making all these superhero stuff, which I love. I love superhero stuff. I will never stop loving superhero stuff. But sometimes I just need a break. I just need a break from it. Like, the best movie I've seen so far this year is Bo is Afraid. Yeah, I I should have put Sisu on the list for the live episodes. I just I didn't realize it was going to get a home release so soon. And I just didn't have time to fit it on the list and like rent it. But uh my friend Pessy said it was really good. Up in the air, Junior Birdman. Miss me. Watch me. Ha ha ha. What are people saying?
Nah, Lego puts out fun games. Okay. I'm talking over the music. I'm talking over the music. I'm talking over the music. So it doesn't get picked up. I'm talking over the music. <laughs> Even the DC animated films have been mostly disappointing lately. Yeah, they're very hit or miss. Did you see there's a completed but shelved movie from Jamie Foxx called All Star Weekend? It co-starred Robert Downey Jr. as a Mexican, a la Tropic Thunder. Do you think it'll see the light of day if the worst happens? Just Google Downey Jr. as a Mexican if you're curious. I have not heard of that. Well, I found out recently there's a freaking 10-episode uh, Alien vs. Predator anime that's just completed. And I was like, what? I want to see that. All right, I'm not going to waste time collecting stuff because I've already played this and collected it. I'm just going to go through the story. Ah! Oh, shit. Was the bomber suit? Dragons got that fixed movies? Oh, there's a ton. Um I like the director's cut of Legend. Uh, let me think. Oh, well, it's, nah, it's not a director's cut, but the assembly cut of Alien was really good. Um, I like the director and final cut of Blade Runner. Nightbreed? I've never seen the original cut of Nightbreed, but I heard it was terrible. Like, they clearly, like, chopped up the movie to be something that it just wasn't. Uh, and apparently the uh, director's cut uh, fixed that. I like the original Highlander 2. The one with the planet Zeist. I don't even see it as a director's cut when I watch The Renegade. It just seems like a desperate... Like, they're desperately just trying to salvage it. It's just... the Re I don't like The Renegade cut. The original Highlander 2 is just such an amazing film. It really shows you how not to do a sequel. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, no, I'm done with J I'm done with Terminator. I'm done with Terminator. It's so annoying that now James Cameron's like, oh, I guess I shouldn't have brought Arnold and her back. And it's like, yeah, you shouldn't have because they're old and sad. I actually don't mind when it comes to bringing elderly action heroes back. Kind of don't mind if it's like a Terminator because they are a robot. It's a little bit easier to believe. But also, he's Arnold's not gonna sell your Terminator movie like Genesis bombed. Also, and all for all the shit they give Terminator Three for ignoring the end of Two, fucking Dark Fate did the same thing. Tony, the only really real Terminator movies are one and two. Hey, man, I like three. I like three. Uh, I'm not excited for this, but everyone's David Gordon Green remake of The Exorcist. I did a whole video of it a while back. I'm not like the Fox TV show was a unexpectedly good uh, follow up to The Exorcist. And I actually really liked the story they told there. And I thought it was really, really well done. So a new reboot that ignores it. I'm fine. I don't need it. Uh, Terminator Genesis was the most expensive B-movie ever. And now all I gotta say is one thing about Terminator 3. Kristana Loken. Which I have a toy of right there. Um, it did, I didn't like the one with your co-star Christian Bale. Because it looked nothing like the future. That is annoying. That they didn't make it look like 1 and 2. Uh, the game Terminator Resistance and T2 3D are perhaps the closest thing we'll get to. it. Terminator Resistance, people recommend that to me a lot. It's kind of true, you live long enough, you get to see all your beloved franchise get run into the dirt. Uh, fair. Honestly, I'm ready for a new Planets of the Ape movie coming in a few years. Well, the Planets of the Ape, like movies they did recently were great. They took the ideas from the original... Uh, three, four, and five Planet of the Apes. And just redid it better. Without all the goofy time travel shit. But, um, yeah, it'd be fun if they finally circle back and just do the, the first movie. Because they showed the ship with Charlton Heston. Uh, his character disappearing, leaving the Earth's orbit. In the first uh, reboot. But there was like cool things where like I think that girl in the original film was called Nova. And then the deaf girl in this name. Like they call her Nova. Not that she's the same character because then millions of years are supposed to go by. But like that's like a name that she carries down. I guess that gets carried down through the generations. A lot of cool stuff in that new Apes trilogy.
Oh, is that not break? I thought that was breakable glass. Oh, Jai Courtney? He's gotten better, but around that time, like, he was annoying the shit out of me in movies. I hated him as Bruce Willis' son in Die Hard 5. Um, God, he was in that terrible uh, Frankenstein Unbound movie. I actually didn't mind him as Captain Boomerang as much as I thought I would hate him. Uh, yeah, he was in something else that I liked. I forget what it was. Oh, she kissed him instead of the other way around? Woke. Woke! <laughs> yeah, the new Suicide Squad was fun. Get back here. Killer Croc and pick that up. I can't go there. That's all I can get there. Get over here. Get over here. Okay, you have to make, she you have to get her to make herself dizzy. Ok. 
Okay. Come on, get tired. Get tired. What the hell? Oh my god, so many! Okay, she's back. Okay, what is Fish Tank that Tony keeps tweeting about? Oh, it's down to two more people. It's a 24-7 um, reality show. You can follow the contestants from room to room. Uh, you can pay to say things to them or play sound effects. You can pay to have horrible things done to them or given to them. Uh, and there's like an elimination every, so and so, uh, every once in a while. They'll bring strangers into the house. Who fuck with the contestants. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's almost done. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. Uh, oh, he is? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna raid them once I'm done here. Uh it's how the characters are written along the performance to make them stand out, not their gender. We haven't seen Sean Bean die in a movie since a while. I'm still shocked Sean Bean is in two uh, Silent Hill horror movies where everyone dies and he survives both of them. Um, they're not like broken per se. It's just the rechargeable battery packs like lost their charge, but I have since bought, uh, two wired adapters for them. So if I do have people over and I want to play two player with something, I will have wired adapters and we can make that happen. How do you feel about Beetlejuice 2 movie and casting? I saw a set of Winona Ryder recently. Um, unlike Batman, I'm fine with uh, Beetlejuice coming back. Um, I don't think you need Winona Ryder in them, but that's fine. That's fine. And then I read that uh, Monica Bellucci's in it. And I'm like, oh, I love Monica Bellucci. And then I read that she was Beetlejuice's wife. And I went, nope. Nope. Not for me. I don't want to think of Beetlejuice married. In fact, one of the things for the ending of Beetlejuice, the threat was that Lydia was going to marry him and it had to be stopped. So the idea of Beetlejuice having a wife, I'm like, no, I, I, don't, I don't like this. Unless he's really mean to her, but they don't let you do that in movies anymore. <laughs> yeah, they've been stuck in that room since like last night. Have they been able to use the bathroom? Do they have them do any bathroom breaks? I saw a little bit of the punch a fat guy challenge. That was fun. I'm sad Vance is gone. 
It's tough, because I want Josie to win, but Letty is such a good bad guy. Um, so I was sad to see Lance go. I love that John came back to the fish tank and just tried to rip up Letty's passport. Because I guess she threw his Bible in the, the toilet or something. What a crazy time. Prime time, Alex Stein, all the time. He's a pimp on a blimp. He was in the house for two days. And his uh, wife's boyfriend, Don Terrius, got him kicked out because he was smoking crack in the house. Uh... Okay, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. And I'll be back. Okay, we gotta go against Scarecrow. Do we actually get the fly in this one? I think we do. And this plays just like the Star Wars, uh, the Lego Star Wars games did. Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh no, he's gonna blow up the train! Back. 
Did I miss one? Oh yeah, those guys. Second first time chat. Hey Tony, I was wondering if you ever played the Skywalker Saga uh, Saga Lego game, and if so, what did you think of it? I have the original, I have Lego Star Wars uh, 2, I think it's called, the one that has the prequel trilogy and the original trilogy, and I have Lego Force Awakens, um, yeah, so I think I'm good, I don't think I need to play all new versions of all nine films. I think I'm good. I don't know. Am I, am I missing out? Lots of pew pew pew, all the pew pew pew, exactly. I don't think Beetlejuice 2 should be made at all. How about that? I think the first one is good. Have they made a Lego Star Wars 7 and 9? Well, they did Force Awakens, and then I think they did the Skywalker saga, which is all nine movies. All nine of the main movies. But I don't know if there was any, like, um... Rogue Ones or anything like that it packaged in that. Is there a Lego Superman game? Well, actually, after this, the Lego Batmans are actually just Lego DC, but they kept calling them Lego Batman. Because you could be you could be the entire Justice League, and you could be everyone in Lego Batman 3. Uh, yeah, death is a cash grab. What if I can Toy Story 5? We need a Hack the Movies compilation video of best moments. Uh, I don't know. You want me to make that? I don't have time to rewatch my episodes. Also, if it's podcast videos, uh, there's a lot of episodes I can't re-upload or re-share that I don't really want to. An old crybaby will be like, "Oh, they're using my footage." Oh. But I don't know. You guys can uh, definitely cut something together if you want. Uh, like, like I said, I do actually share stuff like that once in a while. Like, did you go know, that AJ Wizzle guy made that video that looked like a CNN hit piece that made me look like a crazy uh, right wing guy. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to be shooting with this character.
Also, I want to thank everyone for uh, tuning into these Twitch streams. I've been putting them on the Clips channel. And doing that helped me get the uh, Clips channel monetized. So I am grateful to everyone here for that. Uh, we need to hack uh, Tony the way they tie Penguin together was by fabric of a thing. Fabric of a Ting the character of Christopher Walken so he could put them together. Oh, I get what you're saying now. Compilation videos are a lot of work. I actually might be able to do it, actually. It would be a lot of work, though. I agree with Jessica, though. We need a Mummy Cop Season 3. Ugh, I just don't have time for it. Uh, do they have Lego Batman versus King Tut? I don't know. Something doing... Someone's doing well. Uh, they have Lego Batman versus Uncle Larry. <laughs> Did you watch the Stallone reality show? I have not. Again, when it comes to reality, I've only been watching Fish Tank. Come on. I just gotta sneak behind him and get him with one of these. Oh, wait! Oh, can only... I think I remember now. That's right. I got to drag him. Shit. Where are you dragging him to? I'm not sure where I'm supposed to drag him. Okay. So I gotta drag him with the helicopter and then switch to Batman real quick. I'd love to have a uh, Kurt Angle on. I don't know if Bret Hart would have a lot to say about movies, particularly. Jim Cornette has to be blocked, so that's not happening. 
Lego Mummy Cop game would be... No one's making a Lego Mummy Cop game. <laughs> Killer Moth! I have not seen the layover with Alexandria Daddario. What? Oh shit! Oh shit! I think the game crashed. The whole thing crashed. Let's try again. It froze. Hunky Tony. Hey, hey, hey. Tony. Hey, hey, hey. It's from Seinfeld. Hunky Tony. Hey, hey, hey. He's a male bimbo. He's a mimbo. Okay, let's see. Okay. Plow in the cartridge. Did the chat freeze too? Are you guys all excited for Batman Returns on Monday?
Ah, they just keep coming. Oh no! Batman is a uh, master builder. I still haven't seen the second Lego movie, but it's like on Tubi. I might give that a watch. I also didn't see the Lego Ninjago movie, but I wasn't really in a rush to see that one. I realized there's a bunch of movies that I really liked the first one of, and just didn't bother with the second one. Like, I really liked the first Lego movie. And then I was like, alright, I'm done. Oh, except for Lego Batman. Um, and then there's other ones, like... Uh, like, I really liked the first Wreck-It Ralph. Still haven't seen the second one because it looked like a big commercial for Disney. No, Robin, get up here. Now we can blow stuff up real good.
Bury the Bride was interesting. Yes, it was interesting. Okay, I don't know what that did. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so those will fill that spot there. Oop. Uh, Tony, is there any video still online of your Jurassic Park review show? What? What do you mean Jurassic Park review show? No, I never did a channel about Jurassic Park. I was going to. 
I was going to do like a Jurassic Park theory, and then I just never got around to it. And by the time I remembered, Clayton had already started his channel and was already like really big. And I was like, well, shit. It was funny, like one of the first, I did a live stream years ago and Clayton came into the chat. I was like, I got a beef with you. You took my idea that I was too lazy to start. <laughs> Guys, I reviewed Roadhouse on rental reviews. And I reviewed it again on Good Times Great Movies. The podcast Good Times Great Movies. I am done reviewing Roadhouse. I might do a commentary track on the movie. I made a short film about how much I love Roadhouse. I think we're all Roadhoused out from Tony. What is this? Oh, she almost died. She almost died. Can control this robot. Ah. Uh, Tony, I saw Die Hard on TV the other day on Stars, and something like that, I actually was disappointed when they didn't censor the motherfucker part to Mr. Falcon. It's so funny, I think I look forward to it now. <laughs>
Uh, maybe. Actually, I shot a um, an unboxing for the new 4K set, but I haven't sat and uh, watched the movies yet. Well, he did like 10,000 of them over the last like two, three years. So good luck getting around to them. There were a bunch on Netflix, too. getting somewhere. I feel like it wants me to blow up some more things. Ah! Ah, there we go. Oh no. What M. Night movie would you review, like Signs or Breakable or Sixth Sense? Probably all three of those, to be honest. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, they're too hot. Right? Is that what I'm led to believe? Yeah, they're too hot. I need a lava suit for that, I guess.
<laughs> yeah, I've done that where I put a movie on. I'm like, oh, I've seen this one before. Okay, come on, killer moth. bad boys. Okay, yes. Oh, I want the robot suit. <laughs> I'm fine. This, uh, I have an old ass uh, mount on the wall, TV wall mount. And it doesn't swivel, so... Ah, I'm fine. Am I supposed to do something? Okay, to, oh, to like a moth to the flame. It's not Mothman, it's Killer Moth. Mothman is something different. Ah! Alright, we got one more level in the Joker mission.
I gotta get to the top of the tower. Hmm. Okay. Thought I was supposed to use that. Okay, there's something underneath this that I could probably use. Oh, it's a new suit. some stuff up. see a magnet shit for him. I see. I see now. I see now. I know what to do now. Space Cat, I know what to do now. I just heard her meowing. 
Maybe I gotta use this one. I gotta sh uh, I thought I had to shoot that dial. Never mind, I don't know what to do now. Okay, there's something. Ah, there's the magnet boots. one That's fish. Bang! I have no idea what that lever did. <laughs> yeah. She can't survive bubbles. Hmm. Oh. 
Yeah, there's a new tech. I don't think it's out out. I think they're it's like a beta or something. the gliding suit. They made a Power Rangers versus Godzilla comic. I know that much. They didn't get Andrew Brynarski. Stuck in the bell. No, they're their own thing. Although, like I said at the beginning of the stream, this one definitely takes some cues from the first four movies. And in Lego Batman 3, there actually is like a Man of Steel level and a Dark Knight level. And characters from some of the movies. You can get like you can get like the Dark Knight Rises Bane and other characters like that. Oh, God damn.
Joker's helicopter. Oh no! I have not. Oh no. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, I love this game. On its anniversary, I have to, I would have to check the calendar again. I don't know how many anniversary movies I have coming up. I mean, we kind of did. Yeah, what did you guys expect? It's an elderly, an even more elderly Indiana Jones. <laughs> That's like in Batman. My enemy Say, go in there and be like, we stand with Tony in the great Kieran-Tony war of 2023. 
I want you all to say that. Here, I'll even, I'll type it. We stand with Tony in the great Kieran Tony War of 2023. I want you all to go in there and say that. Thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, tonight I'm going to upload the first 30 minutes of uh, the Batman Returns review. It'll be a rough edit. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff on Patreon right now and more to come. So I will let you all go now. Go say hi to Kieran in a second. It's going to go in a second. Second more. Okay. Goodbye.